Every time I post a cute outfit photo, I always get asked, where did you get your bag? Well, if you want the long answer, I have a mom with an amazing sense of style with a beautiful bag collection that she's been building for years to match her different unique outfits. But if you want the short answer, well, I got it from my mama. What's up guys, if this is your first time seeing me, hi, hello, my name is Fran, I'm a fashion blogger and I love to create all kinds of content on styling, trend reports, hauls, DIYs, but my all-time favorite thing to do is give tips and tricks on how to cop luxury styles or just generally fun trends affordably and easily. So by the time you guys watch this video, it will officially be Mother's Day. So I thought, what better way to celebrate this beautiful holiday than with a video dedicated to my mom? <laughs> so growing up, my mom has always been one of my all-time main fashion inspirations. She has an impeccable taste and style, and she also has a banger designer bag collection. My mom has always put us at the forefront of all of her decisions, and that includes her shopping. Even when she buys bags, she thinks of us. She only buys bags that she can pass down to the rest of us. So all of those cool bags you guys see on my Instagram, yeah, I got them from my mama. So today I figured, why don't I choose some of my favorite pieces from her collection and make outfits inspired by them? So without further ado, let's get into it. I do hope I get to be at my mom's level one day. Okay, so what shall we pick today? Oh yes, this, this. I have always loved this one. So this, this is coming with us. Oh yes, yes. Oh my God, this is so cute. You too. Uh, this is a dream of a bag. I love this. Poire Le Page. There are only a few stores in the world, so this is one of my favorite bags for my mom. And of course, I'm gonna take these two because these are just classics. Yes. Okay, what is our selection here? I really like this one, but this is honestly bigger than my entire torso. Like, this will take up half my body if I try this one. Okay, so to start things off, I had to begin with one of my favorite pieces from my mom's collection. This is the Louis Vuitton Magnolia Damier Canvas Bond Street bag. And look, it even has my mom's initials monogrammed on the strap. So this is a very special purchase. My mom always styles this to the T. This is probably one of my top three most used bags from her collection. I just love it the shade of pink down the middle. I also just love the size. It's so dainty. It goes well with so many outfits. So yeah, definitely gonna steal this one day. <laughs> Next up, we have this vintage Fendi monogrammed handbag. I'm a huge fan of the Logomania trend. I especially love when it uses the Fendi motif just because, I don't know, I, I just love the vibe and I just love the colors. And yeah, so this is one of the bags that I am always using as well. I feel like it just matches everything perfectly in my wardrobe since most of my things are of the brown or neutrals shade. And honestly, I love how it fits so many of my items without looking bulky. Like it's just so roomy inside, but it still looks small and compact on the outside. Next, we have the Staud Moreau Caged Clear Bucket Bag. My mom actually got this pretty recently, so she doesn't have any photos wearing it yet. But when I fished this out of her closet, I was just like, whoa, I really wish I could wear this out in public because it just gives that perfect beachy feel. But it's also something you can wear out for brunch in the city. So this just completed my cottage core dreams vibe. Next up, we have the Louis Vuitton Nocturne PM Brown Epi Leather Shoulder Bag. 
I remember my mom got this when we were in Japan. She found it in this vintage designer store. And I just remember watching her buy it and thinking that when I grow up, I definitely want to be the kind of person that's worked so hard that every time I travel, I'm able to buy myself something as beautiful as this. Also, me and my sisters love this bag because it reminds us of like this really fancy piece of wood. I don't know, it's like log, but make it luxurious. Now we have the Gucci Abbey canvas D-ring shoulder bag. If I'm not mistaken, my mom got this right before quarantine hit, so it definitely hasn't had enough time in the spotlight. Personally, this one is one of my all-time favorites. I love the monogram canvas fabric. I also love the silvery detailing. It just gives it this like futuristic look while still keeping that vintage hobo bag feel to it. I also like how every time I wear this, I just feel like a fancy tita. Like, do you get that vibe too? Over here, we have the Maria La Rosa Chaos Handle Bag. When my mom told me that she read my blog post where I talked about how micro bags were trending, she told me that she actually bought a micro bag. And this is the first time I am actually seeing that bag. And I'm just so surprised why I never used this before. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty that black and white tweed fabric is together with the accent handle. It's also super cool that even if this bag is actually, you know, small, it's not exactly tiny in a sense that you can fit so many things in here. Like you can probably fit like a phone, your wallet, just like the necessities. Unlike the ridiculously tiny micro bags where you could only fit like a nail, maybe. And last but definitely not the least, we have the Salvatore Ferragamo Black Gancini Embossed Fabric and Leather Braided Handle Satchel. I knew I had to include this in the video because growing up, I always saw my mom pairing this with tons of her outfits. So this was a must and I can totally see why she loves it so much. It's timeless, it's classic. That embossed fabric just gives it a little bit more oomph. And I guess that's what makes my mom such a great collector. She doesn't like things that are trendy. She likes things that will last a lifetime. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had so much fun styling all of the outfits. Honestly, it just reminded me how much I wish I could go out and wear it in public again. But since that's not possible, this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> but jokes aside, this video would literally not have been possible if not, of course, for my amazing mother. Since the very beginning, she has been my number one supporter. She has always encouraged me to chase after my dreams and she has never failed to supply me with the right environment, the right support, and all the tools to pursue my dreams and just be the woman that I've always dreamed of becoming. So thank you so much, mom, without a doubt. If my mom had not been such a passionate and amazing inspiration for me growing up, I would not have gained an interest at all in fashion or luxury or designer things or just style in general. Mom, I hope you liked the video. And as for you guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching it too. If you want to see the rest of my content, please make sure to check me out on the rest of my socials. My Instagram is francis.beltran. My TikTok is oatheaded and my blog is oatheaded.me. I'd love to see you guys there. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, don't forget that anyone can channel Chic for Cheap. Bye guys.